Hi there guys, Mauer here, and welcome to another movie review. If you can't tell by the title, I'm doing a Velvet Buzzsaw review. I'm like only a week late, so you can't call me out on that. The movie is about a bunch of art dealers and advisors who get haunted by some unexplained and supernatural force just because they profited, profited off of some dead guy's art. I know, it's kind of dumb. Now, if I'm jumping straight into the good stuff, I'd have to say Jake Gyllenhaal's acting is great, like usual. The concept is quite unique, actually, as if neither museum only consisted of art and was on some kind of drug. It was quite amusing how Coco, that's Natalie Dyer's character, saw almost all the murders. The gory visuals really added to the tone, and finally, I liked how the final kill happened. It was effective to story in a fulfilling way. Now, going straight to the bad stuff, I'd have to say that it was really sad how a brilliant actor such as John Malkovich was barely in the actual film. All the main female characters were unbearable. Coco seemed pathetic. Both Gretchen, that's Tony Collette, and Josephina, that's Zawi Ashton, were straight up annoying. And Redora, that's Rene Russo, was just boring. Near the end of the movie, the plot became slightly dull and the pacing rapidly slowed down. I didn't like that at all. Now, finally, I'm fine with the movie being called a thriller. I had all the correct features to be called that, but I cannot allow this movie to be called a horror. It wasn't scary at all. Now, if I'd have to give a rating out of 10, I'd have to say it was a definite 6. There are great visuals and a unique concept, but when it comes down to it, it just was really slow and didn't deserve to be called a horror. Alright, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, do a like and subscribe, and if you want, comment something. Cheers.